Hey, what's up, everybody? Love for that pants with another Path of Excel video. And in today's video, we're going to talk about another tool. And today it's a timeless jewel emulator. This is a really fantastic tool. The timeless jewels, the you know, historic ones, they have been in the game for a very long time. I think almost three years now since Legion League. And the seed on them and their effect on the passive tree was not really too well understood. Lots of people have made databases of really useful notables. Obviously the 5% chance to deal double damage is a highly sought after one, but now it's been cracked and we're gonna have a look at a tool that enables us to check which jewels we want to find on the trade site or check out which uh, modifiers we're gonna get on our passive tree before we buy a jewel if we want to. So for this, you're gonna need two GitHub repos and possibly uh, .NET 6.0 if you don't have it installed already. The first GitHub repo you're going to need is Major Regal's Timeless Emulator. It's a public repo and there is a link in the description below. You can just download that and extract it into a folder. That's all I did and it works straight away. And then the Timeless Emulator GUI, which is by JH Pinto, obviously, link down there you may also need .NET 6.0 i did you might already have it installed for other things but once you've got those things and you're up and running you can basically straight away just go in uh, extract those and go into here and click on timeless emulator gui and you bring up this little fella here so let's take a look at what it does so we're gonna check one of the timeless jewels we're currently wearing and we're gonna have a look at another one this is just a demonstration of the tool so you can see how it works so we've got our timeless jewel search here i'm just going to go back into the game and bring up our skill tree and i have got here a brutal restraint timeless jewel which is a denoted service of blah 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 decor and Akara of Balbala, and that's the Conqueror uh, by the Marrakesh Historic. So this is a Balbala uh, Brutal Restraint Jewel. So we're just going to bring this up. We're going to click here and to Brutal Restraint. We're going to take our keystone as Balbala. And then we're just going to take a couple of these notables here. So we'll go with Master Fletcher. That's got 4% increased life. So we're going to just... Uh, filter these. So just make sure that's clicked. And then go down here and I think it's maximum life percentage and then click this little plus here and then what else we're we going to take we can take uh, herbalism which has got increased attack and cast speed and these are just the way I would normally do this if I had my tree here and I was going to use a time uh, brutal restraint I would just tick off in here all the notables I have and the desired uh, you see under aspect of the links has got 20% increased evasion rating at the bottom there. Uh, survivalist has got 20% increased elemental damage. Those are the things I would put in the desired stats. So let's say we're going to do herbalism and increased attack and cast speed. So we'll just do herb and then click that. And then if we go down here, I think there's, yes, increased attack and cast speeds right there. And then we can take maybe a winter spirit here. This is a deck stacking build, so obviously uh, coal, um, increased percent dexterity, very important to this build. I think it's dexterity plus percent, there we go. And if we just generate now, there's, we've only got three, but you can see there's only three timeless jewels that fit this, or three seeds, which is the number on the timeless jewel. So in fact, if we go back to uh, my game here, I got this brutal restraint here. It's an Asenath one, denoted in service of 5008. And that's the seed number. And that's what we have always tried to figure out what that means. And if we see here, we've got 615, we've got 5891, and we've got 5998. And those are the three possible jewels that would fit here. And if we mouse over mine, it's 615. So pretty sure it works very well. Um, we're going to put this one in and then just double check. So we'll take this one out and put this one in here. And I actually have to close down. I feel like you have to close down the tool each time you do it, but that's fine for us. So let's just take that away. And then we now have a uh, Dekara of Asenath. So it's another brutal restraint. And we're going to go with uh, Asenath there. And then on our aspect of the links, we've got percent increased dexterity. So we can do aspect here and then aspect of the links and then increased percent increased dexterity and obviously on some jewels you you know you can look for uh, a lot of 
percent chance to increase do double damage that's that's pretty good i've seen someone with a 25 percent chance to do double damage which is just 25 percent more damage which is excellent we've got intuition here with uh, also with dexterity as uh, so we can check that and let's just see if we can uh, find, oh there's quite a few with those two notables uh, winter spirit here has got flat decks so we'll just take that and I believe it's base dexterity. There we go. And then we'll see what, how many there are now. There's still quite a few, so we're going to have to uh, get a few more. Master Fletcher we can take with cold resistance. So let's take that. There we go. And then cold resistance. I believe it's around here somewhere. Elemental damage, base cold damage resistance. Let's chuck that in there. And now when we generate, there's there's a few, but what have we got here? We've got 5008. Let's see if that's in the list. And there it is. So this is a fantastic tool. I would highly recommend you, if you're using a historic tool, I would highly recommend that you download this and use it. I have been using it since it came out, which was two days ago. Uh, I've just been checking it against jewels that I currently use. My builds at the moment do not have historic jewels in. They don't have any uh, timeless jewels at all. So not super useful for me right now, but obviously going to be very, very useful for me in the future. And as with always, Path of Exile, the more you know is just incredible knowledge is the number one currency in this game and if you know a lot if you can figure out a lot of stuff beforehand then you stand to make incredible amounts of currency in the game all the time so with that said that's it from me i really hope you enjoyed this video i love you all very much i hope you're kind to everyone who me and i'll see you in the next one thanks very much bye